In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make falafels. Although I'm gonna be making six pounds, I'm gonna show you how to make a small batch of falafels at home. The first ingredient that you'll be using is garbanzo beans or dried chickpeas. For a small batch, you'll need to use one pound of dried chickpeas or garbanzo beans. Once you get these dried chickpeas, you're gonna put them in a bowl, then add some baking soda, and then put them underwater. Now you're gonna wanna leave it underwater overnight. This will allow the chickpeas to grow and soak in all the water. By adding baking soda, it allows for the chickpeas to grow and taste better, making it better for falafels and hummus. Once you notice that the chickpeas have grown exponentially, you'd now wanna use it for hummus and falafels now. The ingredients that we'll be using is first of all the chickpeas from earlier and we'd also use parsley, cilantro, some garlic, some onions, some green onions and some jalapenos to give it a kick. For a small batch you'll need to use half a bunch of parsley, half a bunch of cilantro, three green onions, one onion and half a clove of garlic and one jalapeno, although it is optional. We begin to place the greens and the chickpeas together in the grinder and make them grind together to make falafels. Once you're done grinding the chickpeas and the greens, you're gonna wanna mix it together because there's usually more chick grinded chickpeas than grinded greens, making it a better consistency for falafels. Once you're done mixing, you can save the falafels for later, which should last a very long time. But if you want to eat the falafels right now, you're going to want to put baking soda, cumin, crushed peppers, and salt. Then you mix it all together, and then you put it in the fryer. And Have some fun. Exactly. We're going to be using a falafel scooper, and you can put it with some sesame seeds, sesame seeds, sesame seeds, and without sesame seeds. Now you have to wait until the falafels turn brown. Once it turns brown, you can remove it from the oil. But usually it takes a few minutes and you have to flip the falafels once in a while. It's nice, but now we have to flip it. When it turns dark, you have to flip it. Yeah. See, it's not dark enough. Yeah, full darkness effect. Exactly. Also, the official recipe will be in the description below. You can use the recipe and follow the video to get amazing results. Okay. Then you shake all the oil off. And now, once it's done, That's it. Now these are the falafels. Some of them can be with sesame seeds and some of them can't. Oh, you can have sesame seeds and you can't. Um, now you can make falafel sandwiches with these and um, use hummus which is going to be in our next video. Falafel sandwiches.